What's up guys, it's Ben with 2020 Election Predictions, and today I'm going to do an updated presidential forecast. I haven't done one of these in, in about 10 days, and a lot has changed. We're coming up on the first debate in six days, which I predict will be a massive game changer. We're only 41 days or about six weeks from election night, which I, I don't think we're going to know the winner. Um, on that night or maybe even the uh, next next day. And we've seen a slew of new polls that are coming out that I think are changing the race a lot. And we've seen that Trump has start, started to do his rallies and that um, the vice presidential and presidential candidates are moving their ways all around the kind of eight swing states that I think will decide the 2020 election. So let's uh, just dive right in and get started. Um, please subscribe right here if you haven't already, and, and let's uh, get into it. So I definitely want to start with the um, lean Democratic states. Um, and before I get into that, I, I kind of want to explain my reasoning um, uh, with Texas and Ohio. I think that both these states will be, be between three and five points. Obviously, they're very different states on the in terms of their demographics and like where they are trending. However, if Trump doesn't win Texas or, or Ohio, um, which I I, de I don't think he will lose the states. I, I I think he will he will win. And there's really no point in doing this forecast because I mean Biden will automatically win um, if he wins Ohio or Texas. So let's just dive right into the lean Dem Democratic state. So I'm going to start out with the state of um, Michigan. I was really struggling between putting Michigan in either the likely or lean category here. In the average of the polls, Biden's up by like, around eight points here. Um, which is more than Hillary Clinton was up on e election day. I think she was up uh, between four or five points. So I do think B Biden is is going to win this state. Um, Hillary Clinton didn't really visit Michigan, but the Biden campaign is definitely going to put put in money here. We 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 we've seen kind of big name donors. Um, Bloomberg, among others, are really going to put money and try to mobilize the vote in some of the more ur urban areas. It, especially um african american voter turnout was down a lot um if, if you look at um, places like flint and detroit so i i really think that like out of all the states that i think um biden could flip um that trump won in 2016 i have the most i'm, I'm most confident in michigan right now i think biden's going to win the state right right but by, by about four points because i do kind of want to account for kind of the shy voter effect in, in the polls. And I, I do think in the Rust Belt, the polls are still going to be a little biased in Biden's favor. So we should not count Trump's chances out. Um, next up is the state of Minnesota. Um, also in, in the polls, um, I think in late July, early, early August, we saw some polls that kind of had it dead even. Um, recently, I think we saw a poll out of Minnesota that had plus 12 for, 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 for Biden. So you kind of have to take the average of, of these polls. I think in the average, um, Biden's also by around eight points. I don't think it's going to be um, that big of a gap. Um, I mean, Trump vastly outperformed the polls here in, in 2016. He, he just barely lost Minnesota by one and a half points. But I think Biden is going to um, outperform Hillary Clinton's performance there. Um even though I assume both campaigns are going to um, uh, stop in Minnesota and hold some rallies. Um, and then lastly, I want to uh, look at the state of Wisconsin. Right now, I think Wisconsin is between a lean and tilt character characterization. I think that Biden's probably going to win the state between like one and a half and three points. I, I do think that, that Wisconsin is to the right of Minnesota and Michigan. Um, ha however, the polling averages have um, Biden up in the state of Wisconsin, I think by around six to seven points. Um, and Trump was down by six and a half points on e election day in the state of Wis Wisconsin. He ended up winning by a total Republican margin. But I think that will be kind of hard for him to recreate, cre um, especially with kind of the massive uh, of amounts of money that the Democrats are putting into Wisconsin. Um, the tw 2018 midterms kind of should be a sign um, of hope for the Republicans in Wis Wisconsin. So I, I, I was really struggling between having it as a tilt or, or a lean. But right, right now, I'm going to keep it in the lean characterization. Um, but I mean, I, I'm really just very con conflicted right there. 
So next up, I want to go to the tilt Republican states. I already filled in Ohio and Texas. Right now, I still think that Georgia is going to be a lean Republican state, just barely. I'm also kind of struggling with Georgia kind of on the opposite end. Is this a tilt Republican or lean Republican state? Um, There have been some polls that actually have Biden up in Georgia, but I mean, they're still within the margin of error. But we've also seen some polls where Trump is up by seven. So I, I think if we take the average of of these out, I think Trump's probably going to win the state between one and a half and two and a half points. So kind of right on that um, 2% threshold that is between kind of the tilt and um, lean threshold right there. So let's kind of move into the um, uh, tilt Republican states. Right now, I think that North Carolina is going to be a tilt Republican state. Um, I, I think it maybe could move into the lean category. I really do think that Trump um, is going to win North Carolina. I I think that the Senate race is going to be a lot closer. But I mean, North Carolina voted um, for Trump by three and a half points in 2016. Romney won it. Um, I I just think that North Carolina is historically a Republican state. So I think that Donald Trump will definitely be able to keep it. Um. Uh, then next up, I w- left it out, and I um, am kicking myself for leaving it out. But I think that Maine's oh, – it. Um, I think that Maine's second district is, is going to be a lean Republican district. And we are actually seeing bo- both campaigns putting money into Nebraska's second district and Maine's um, second congressional district. So these, these – I mean, just one – electoral votes will matter and i'll kind of dive into that later um so next up going going to the next tote rope republican state is the state of florida there was a, a recent poll that that just came out today on wednesday um it was the abc news washington post um poll which is a, a considered an a plus rated poll by five five thirty eight had trump up by four i i do think this is a little bit of of an outlier but still i mean an A plus rated poll had Trump up by four. Um, I think probably Trump right now is going to win it between zero and one points. It might go into an automatic recount, but I still think that Trump is going to pull it out. Um, be be before I had Florida in the lean or even tilt Democratic column, um, but this was kind of when coronavirus was was really raging, and I, I think as the uh, economy starts to open up, I think we're going to see Florida go red again, like it did in 2016 and 2018. So next stop, next stop. So right now we're at two forty eight to two fifty eight. So I really think this is going to be very close. I've been seeing headlines of a Biden landslide. By no means do I think it's going to be a Biden landslide. I mean, this is going to be one of the closest elections that we've seen in recent history, and especially with mail in voting and other factors, I think this is going to be a very contested e- election. It's going to be the most expensive e- election so far, and I mean, I think it's just going to be crazy. And I mean, I I I live in a swing state. And I, I've seen the um, airwaves just flooded with political ads. So people are not um, being cheap or frugal in this election. So next up, I, I, I want to go to the tilt Democratic states, and I want to start in the state of Arizona. Um, Arizona, I think, will be is going to be kind of the state that's going to be the most v- volatile and might not be in keeping with the um, what the polls say. Um, I saw a Fox News poll that had Biden up plus nine. I think it was about two weeks ago. And I just saw kind of the A plus rated poll from the ABC News um, that had Trump up one point in Arizona. Um, I've I, like the polls are just all over the place. In in the average poll, Biden is winning by three points, and I mean Arizona has shifted leftward a lot. While while the Rust Belt has kind of shifted to the right, the Sun Belt is shifting to the left, and I think the Sun Belt is shifting to the left at a faster rate than the Rust Belt is shifting to to the right. I mean, I think Arizona could go anywhere like between uh, a very slim victory for Trump to like a five point win to, um, by by Biden. So, I mean, I, I'm really accounting for kind of a lot of room for error there um, just because like I, I really don't trust the polls in Arizona right now. So right now I have it as a total characterization. I think Biden, if I had to guess, it's going to be probably between one or two points. So right now we're at 269 for the Dem- Democrats for Joe Biden. He needs 270 to win. I, I I did a video on why Trump's magic number is 269, while Biden's is 270. 
Lastly, I want to go to the state of Pennsylvania. I think Pennsylvania is a tilt Democratic state, but I think it's a lot, lot closer than people think. I just read an article that talked about naked ballots in the um, state of Pennsylvania. So what this means is like um, what they estimate is seven to eight percent of mail-in ballots from the state of Pennsylvania could be thrown out. And the uh, assumption is, is that um, Democrats are more likely to th- vote by mail. So, I mean, th- this could be a crazy D development and you could have like over a hundred thousand votes thrown out. Um, and if we look at the, the, the polls, this has surprised me a lot. So we have the same pollsters. This is a democratic pollster. So I want to take it with a, a grain of salt be, be a cause it's probably gonna be more democratic leaning, but we see that uh, Biden's up by nine and eight points in Michigan, Wisconsin, but only up by four points in Pennsylvania. And this is a trend that we've been seeing across the board. Pennsylvania is to the right of Wisconsin and Michigan, even though Trump won each of these states by less than a percentage point in 2016. So this would give the um, Biden the Electoral College victory. And j- j- just to fill it in, I think that the Nebraska second district will be a tilt Democratic state. Trump won it in 2016, but I think Biden will be able to take it. But I mean, this is as close as could be. All we need is maybe just a one or two point shift in the in 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 some of these states like Pennsylvania and, and Arizona, and we can see that that gives him the victory. Even if um, even if Arizona goes blue, but uh, Trump gets all the districts in Nebraska and Pennsylvania to two sixty nine two sixty nine tie. So this is my final prediction right now. Um, I think it's going to be 290 to um, 248. So very, very close. Um, the last election that we saw this close was in 2000. So very, very close. But I think there's a lot of room to change. We're 40 days out, and I expect to see a lot of movement in the um, polls coming up. So I really hope that y'all like this video and be on the lookout for a, a new video in the future. Thanks, guys.